We are in Luang Prabang, Laos, and we're on another adventure with my driver. He's taking me to a new waterfall, and I'm looking forward to showing it to you. We're also going to have a talk about letting go of the past and looking forward. Let's go. It is a beautiful ride along the Laotian countryside, and it seems like every day is a new adventure here in Laos. So one thing about Luang Prabang is that you have a lot of outdoor things that you can do here. So each day you can rent one of these uh, small vehicles, these tuk-tuks, and it's costing me about 20 to $25 a day. And they'll go wherever you want. And they know where to take you. They have beautiful waterfalls to take you to, like the one we're gonna go to today. And they know other things like places to go grab a bite to eat, so it's really worth it. They're with you all day long, whatever you want to do. So this is a beautiful waterfall that he's taking me to. Let's go check this out. Kuangsi Waterfall offers, again, a nice day hike. And it's easy, no problem if you bring kids. You'll love it. There's even a small restaurant here that will set some food out for you while you're enjoying the raging river and the beautiful waterfalls. I also noticed there's a village here that they're kind of constructing so there's a lot going on and it was a wonderful day hike and look at this beautiful waterfall. How beautiful. Oh my gosh. You know, my driver just tells me that he's taking me someplace. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I just get in, you know? He knows to stop. And he knows to like, we're gonna pick up a, a coffee. And you know, maybe grab a bite to eat or something like that at the end of the day. But other than that, I just get in the vehicle and he takes me to these beautiful locations that are up in the mountains. I look forward, I look ahead, he takes me to the next location. Every morning is an adventure with this guy. <laughs> and that's what I want to ask you to do. Stop looking back. Stop looking at the past. Uh, stop looking at what happened five years ago, 10 years ago. Look ahead, look forward. Look at this here. Look at this river just powering through here. Wow. Stop focusing on what happened in the past. The mistake you made. Can I tell you a secret? It won't be your last. You're gonna make a mistake again. So get over the one that you made in the past. It's done. You made your apologies. 
you said the things that you needed to say and you made peace with it and you moved forward. Don't dwell on it. Don't dwell on the past. You can't change it. You can't change the past. You can't change what you did. You can't change what you said. You can't change how it affected another person. But what you can do is if necessary, apologize. But more important than anything else is to look forward. Stop dwelling on the past. It's gone. It's done. No matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you're not gonna change what happened in the past. But you can focus on the future and what you're going to do. You can focus on what you do from this point on. And I mean in just about anything. You know when you look back and you say, if I just made that one different move, I would be in a relationship today. Possibly very true. If I just did that one thing differently, I wouldn't have lost that job. I, I would still be working there and I, my career would have progressed. You may be absolutely correct. If I had just said the one thing differently, I wouldn't have hurt that person that I care about. That's probably very true, you wouldn't have. But you can't go back and change that you did. What you can change is your future. So that's what I want you to focus on. Stop stressing about the past. You gotta let it go. Those bad thoughts and those bad memories they fill your head, and at night you're like, you know, oh, why? <laughs> I know how that feels, I know. You gotta let it go. And you gotta tell yourself that you're human and that you make mistakes like everybody else. One thing that you can guarantee from this point going forward is that you will, again, in the future, make a mistake. Something bad is gonna happen either by your action or by someone else's. So what I want you to do is start training yourself to be able to deal with these things. Make the changes that you need to and move forward. Like being a leader, a leader in business or a leader in the military. If you make a mistake, you don't say, that's it, we're done, we finished. No, you have to make a change to your system, a change to what you're doing wrong, and move forward and be victorious. And that's no different than in your life either. Don't give up when you make a mistake, because you're going to, and you have, and so have I. But I don't want you to dwell on it. Here's a few things that I want to share with you. I'm talking to you now. I'm not talking theoretically. I'm not talking in generalities, I'm speaking to you. The mistakes that you made in the past, the decisions that you made in the past, absolved, move forward, done. It's time for you to move your life forward and stop dwelling on the past. Start making plans for your future. Start making the plans and the goals that you wanna achieve over the next five years over the next 10 years. Do you know what those goals are? Have you written them down? Have you put them on paper? Remember, if it's in your head, it's a dream. If it's on paper, it's a plan. There's a big difference. I want you to make a plan for where you wanna be in the next five years, in the next 10 years. Enough of the past, move forward. I have faith in you. Do you have faith in you? Do I have more faith in you than you do? You're gonna be okay. And you're normal, just like the rest of us. Woo, look at this right here. This is a good place to sit down for a second. <laughs> we can take a break right here and let our legs rest. I've been walking all day. Woo. Like I said, I love how this driver just picks me up and says, I'm taking you somewhere. I'm like, okay, let's go. It's fun. 
We've got a lot more to see in Laos. This is not the end. We've got a lot more places that we're gonna travel to in Laos. And we've got a lot more countries to see after this. This is just the beginning. We're traveling nonstop across countries of Southeast Asia and beyond. And I'd like you to come with me. Like and subscribe the video. And let me know in the comment section what you think of our discussion today. And what you think of this beautiful location and waterfall. Gorgeous. I appreciate you spending some time with me. And until we get a chance to talk again, aloha. Okay, making a delicious salad. This is tuk tuk salad. <laughs> That's what they call in Thailand, you know? Tuk tuk. Tuk tuk salad. That's what they call it in Thailand. Oh, look at this right here. Oh, man, look at these big chickens. Oh, they got their patrol dogs right here. Oh, it's the mad attack dog right here, defending the waterfall at all costs. And look at, he's got his backup right here. Backup. Oh, don't even mess with this one. The mad attack dog of the waterfall right here. This is the backup attack dog. Ooh, you don't even want to mess with this one right here. This is part of their strategy. They act like they're sleeping, but they're ready to pounce at any time.